Joining us now, Sarah and Ricky Callahan. They're the, they are the, they have say that lead poisoning has affected their 15 month old son. Uh, welcome to the show to you both. How did you discover that Rudy, your son, had lead poisoning? So in the state of Maryland, it is a requirement for children in daycare to be tested on their first and second birthdays. Uh, when it was his first birthday, we had Rudy tested for lead, uh, and we were very surprised because we saw that the levels were elevated. You learned that the cinnamon applesauce pouches had been recalled in October. I'm sure you were horrified because Rudy used to eat, like, many pouches a day? Yeah, the pouches were a regular part of Rudy's diet. Um, How many would he have a day? He would have uh, a fair amount. Like I said, they, they were a regular part of his diet. So yeah, we would use them because they were so easy to take with us in the car, and, uh, and he loved them, you know, as most kids do. Yeah, and most parents think this is a healthy treat for the child. It's applesauce, for heaven's sake. You contacted the FDA and the company that makes and sells the pouches. What did they say? When I contacted the FDA, they um, they filed the report. Uh, the batch number of the pouch that we had left matched the um, recall. Um, and then they advised me to reach out to Wanabana, and I did reach out to them, but I haven't heard back from them yet personally. You, the company that makes and sells these applesauce pouches has not returned any correspondence from you? Correct. They only sent uh, a form response, like just like a form letter. All right. So tell me about Rudy. Um, have you noticed any things? You said there, there was some speech delay that you started to notice, which is a common symptom of lead poisoning. Yes. Rudy, Rudy has been diagnosed with a little bit of a speech delay. And what are doctors saying? Is this something that can be reversed? He is currently uh, enrolled in the Infants and Toddlers Program in, uh, for Calvert County, Maryland. And they're working with him to mitigate any um, effects of the lead poisoning. Uh, so that's what we're doing now. And he also sees a lead specialist in Baltimore. Are they giving him, I know there's a treatment, um, a medication they can take that can bring the lead levels down. And obviously you're not giving him the applesauce pouches any longer. Um, are they, do you know whether or not the lead levels are dropping and whether or not the speech delay will be reversed? Right now, his lead levels are turning downward, so that's a plus. Um, he's currently taking iron drops um, as a supplement, and that will assist him and his body from getting rid of the lead, hopefully. Um, as far as the speech delay goes, they're working to do the best that they can, but unfortunately, a lot of it is, is a wait-and-see game. I just got to ask you, you must be furious that you're in this position. Um, that you went and got what you thought was a healthy treat for your child and to find out that it was contaminated, poisoned with lead, and that your child is suffering from the effects of that? Absolutely. We're, we're absolutely living. I mean, you know, we took the time to read the labels and do what we were supposed to do as parents to make sure that we were doing the best for our son and then to turn around and find out that something labeled organic turned out to be uh, a poison to him. It's we're absolutely living. Yeah. Thank goodness that screening for daycare uh, happened, that preschool daycare, because you would not even have known about those elevated levels of lead in, in your son's body had that not happened. Sarah and Ricky Callahan, thank you so much. And I hope Rudy continues to improve and get better. Really appreciate you being here tonight. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.